guys, iMovie How To here, and today I'll be showing you the reduced background noise function iMovie 10. So first, what we need to have is an audio clip you want to apply the effect to. So in my case, I have two audio clips right here in my event. So what I can do is I can just double click to select this one, drag it to my project, and I can select this one and drag it to my project. So now what we can do is we can select the clip we want to reduce the background noise from. So I'm going to select this first audio clip I have. And to do this effect, we need to go over here to the adjust panel and then click on this icon. Here we will see this check mark saying reduce background noise. So let's press the slash key on our keyboard to hear the original clip. One, two, three, test. One, two, three, testing. So now let's just check this reduce background noise check mark and let's just see how it sounds with the default 50% setting. One, two, three, test. One, two, three, testing. As we see, iMovie has reduced a bit of background noise from the clip, but not that much. So what you need to do is you need to basically just tinker around slightly with these settings. So I'm going to like drive mine to around, let's just say 63% or so and press the slash key. One, two, three, test. One, two, three, testing. So that has a little bit of um, distortion to it. So basically, the more percent you have, the more distortion it will get. So you have to find the balance between the amount of distortion and the amount of background noise. Now I can see what happens if I adjust it to around 60% maybe. I can just press the slash key. One, two, three, test. One, two, three, testing. Seems fine. Let's just see. 58. 1, 2, 3, test. 1, 2, 3, testing. So I think around 60 is good. 59. Let's just preview one more time. 1, 2, 3, test. 1, 2, 3, testing. So if we put a piece of background music behind it, you'll be less likely to notice the distortion. So let's just try a clip that has slightly more noise in the background. So let's just click on the clip and we can press the slash key again to preview it. One, two, three, test. One, two, three, one, two, three, test. test. So you can see that's a pretty noisy um, background we have in this clip. So what we can do is adjust panel, this icon, and we can just check this here in sound, how the default one sounds. You can press the slash key to preview it. One, two, three, test. One, two, three, one, two, three, test. test. So let's see, um, let's just drag this to around um, 60, Three or so. Let's just see how this sounds. One, two, three, test. One, two, three, one, two, three, test. Testing. That sounds very distorted. So, if I would drag this to like a higher position, it would sound really distorted and not good. So, I wouldn't drag the slider anywhere like past 64 or 5 percent. Otherwise, it just sounds really distorted. So, let's just see how it sounds like around. 50, let's see, let's see how it sounds around 60% or so. 1, 2, 3, test. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, th As you notice, the reduced background noise feature doesn't work very well with very noisy clips. It only works well with clips that have low to minimal background noise. Still, this feature can be useful so your audio sounds cleaner. Thank you for watching this iMovie 10 tutorial. If you want to suggest a topic for a new tutorial, write it in the comments below. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to me if you want to see more iMovie 10 tutorials and quick tips. Thank you for watching this video.